3.6 is titled The Inverse and the Contrapositive of Conditional Statements. An inverse is a statement that is formed by negating both the conclusion and the hypothesis. An example, if a number is even, then it is divisible by 2. The inverse would be if a number is not even, then it is not divisible by 2. The notation is if not p, then not q. Contrapositive is a statement that is formed by negating both the conclusion and the hypothesis of the converse of a conditional statement. Example, if a number is even, then it is divisible by 2. The converse would be, if it is divisible, divisible by 2, then it is even. So the contrapositive is, if a number is not divisible by 2, then it is not even. Notation, if not q, then not p. An example, Ellen is studying the, cart, the a color wheel in art class. She observes the following. If a color is red, yellow, or blue, then it is a primary color. Write the converse of this statement. All right, the converse of the statement is if a color is a primary color, then it is red, yellow, or blue. Then it is red, yellow, or blue. Write the inverse of the statement. Well, the inverse is if a color is not, if a color is not red, yellow, or blue, then it is not a primary color. Verify that the converse and inverse are true. Well, let's see. The converse, if a color is a primary color, then it is red, yellow, or blue. Well, that's true. So the converse is true. The inverse, if a color is not red, yellow, or blue, then it is not a primary color. Well, that's true, too. So they're both true. Part D. Is Ellen's statement biconditional? Well, a color, a color is red, yellow, or blue if and only if it is primary. Therefore, the statement is biconditional. So, key ideas. Just know that you form the inverse of a conditional statement by negating the hypothesis and the conclusion. And you know that you form the contrapositive by uh, exchanging and negating the hypothesis and conclusion. That's all you have to know. If a conditional statement is true, then the contrapositive is true, and vice versa. If the inverse of a conditional statement is true, then the converse of the statement is also true, and vice versa.